spiritual struggle, virtues, and passions. I especially want to underline the lukewarm situation. The Lord says in Revelation 3.16, Because you are lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. So this is a serious situation. What are virtues and passions? Now, in our spiritual struggle, in which we seek heaven, we need to understand virtues and passions. We should be fighting the passions, getting rid of them. We need to be working on acquiring virtues. There are many videos on this channel for acquiring virtues, fighting thoughts, fighting the enemies, and getting rid of passions. Virtues are the building blocks of our spiritual life. So what are virtues? Virtues are practices that build our internal house, that help us become stronger psychologically and spiritually. Examples are prayer, fasting, good deeds, sacrifice, and there are many others. We will see a list soon. They are thinking methods for our growth, for our spiritual growth. And they include faith, love, contentedness, and thanksgiving. So virtues are helping us on the inside become stronger and stronger. Virtues practiced for the sake of Christ are going to bring us the fruits of the Holy Spirit. So if we try to show some love towards others, then the Holy Spirit gives us more love and more peace on the inside. Passions, on the other hand, are certain abilities in ourselves. They are given to us, such as the desire to eat. It's a normal ability. A godly rage, being angry for godly matters, and being smart. Those are normal abilities. How do these become passions? Well, the devil abuses these and poisons them somehow. And the desire to eat, to stay alive, turns into gluttony, which is an awful passion. And godly rage becomes rage against brother and becomes fighting. And being smart for our own good turns into manipulation and manipulating others and abusing them. These passions control our behavior and they extinguish the spirit. In the end, they're going to lead us into hell. Win or lose, what are we seeking? There's a video called Spiritual Struggle 13, Successful Trade. It helps us understand the win or lose situation. Let's use a great system for the spirit to help us understand the virtues, passions, and lukewarm situation. So we have grades from minus 100. This is an awful passion controlling us up to plus 100 where we are practicing the full virtue. In the middle, we have the lukewarm situation. The mid-ground, lukewarm, what is this? It's between passions and virtues. It's a creation of the human mind or something from the devils. It is only a way to silence the conscience a way to make us feel that we are okay, to make us approve of our own behavior. It is not useful, it is just another way to help. And the Lord says, 
because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. So this is an example. You have a passion on the left, a virtue on the right, and the mid-ground lukewarm situation in the middle. So the passion is mockery of people or abuse. The virtue is good deeds. And in the middle, we have ignoring others. So either we want to help others doing good deeds or ignore them or we abuse others. What are we going to choose? So the grade of a passion, full passion is minus 100. Good deeds or virtues are plus 100. Lukewarm situation is in the middle, somewhere around zero. If we consider a person that helps others, for example, we can say their grade is 80 because of the way they help others. Another person abuses others, their grade is minus 70, for example. And then we have the guy that says, I don't hurt anyone. What does it mean? Are you helping or are you hurting others? The guy just says, I don't hurt anyone. In the world, this guy may be considered a saint. But the Lord says, well, you're not being useful. So the Lord does not give him a good grade. He's somewhere around zero. And zero is a zero. It's not useful person. So that's why I said the mid-ground lukewarm situation is another way to hell. Because the person is not practicing the virtue required by God. Let's consider another situation. Again, on the left we have the passion, on the right we have a virtue, in the middle ground we have lukewarm. So we take atheism. On the left, in the middle we have acknowledging God. So people say, yes, God exists. On the right we have faith, the orthodoxy faith. And then we have a guy that says, I believe the guy practices the acts of faith, which are the virtues. And then the person ends up with a grade of 70, for example, depending on the degree of faith, degree of practice, all of these things. We have another person that says, I don't believe in Jesus Christ. And this guy's grade is minus 80, for example. And then we have this guy that says, I go to church on Sundays. I'm not doing anything wrong. Well, maybe you're not doing anything wrong, but also you're not doing anything right, as the Lord wants. Are you practicing the virtues? Or do you just go to church to sing, to see others, to spend the time? And this guy ends up with a grade around zero. So this guy is not going to pass into heaven because he's not taking the faith seriously. We need to practice our faith. This is a table for self-control. If you can take a picture of this or take a screenshot I've been told it's very useful for spiritual strugglers. On the left, we have the passions. On the right, we have the virtues. In the middle, we have the lukewarm situation. So, for example, somebody does something wrong, annoys us somehow. If we judge them, then we are following a passion. If we try to revenge, Again, we are following a passion. If we remember their mistakes, then we are somewhere in the middle. 
What good is that? However, the virtue is to forgive them. The Lord says, if you forgive others their trespasses, your Father in heaven will forgive your trespasses. Let's take another example. At the bottom, we have spite or grudge. This is a passion that controls the person. It burns them on the inside, similar to the desire to revenge. In the mid-ground, we have anger for a situation, and anger can come from any passion, actually, or from many passions, let's say. On the right, we have meekness. So this is a totally different thing. What good would it be to be angry against people? No, we want to be meek so that we can have some peace on the inside. When we have peace on the inside, we can think. This is the continuation of the table for self-control. Again, passions on the left, virtues on the right. Let's take the last one. Complaining heart is never going to reach heaven. Complaining is a passion. People keep complaining about many things or about everything. In the mid-ground, we just have accepting reality and ignoring reality at the same time. On the right, we have thanksgiving. We should be thankful. A thankful heart is a heart that reaches heaven. I hope you benefit from this video. God bless you.